Huddy members. Um, I'm not on Facebook, but I hear there's a lot of um, confusion, um, misinformation, uh, a lot of chaos going on. So uh, hopefully I can answer some of those questions. So as elected officials, chief and council are elected to make decisions on behalf of the, our membership. We have a two, year, two years under INAC to try and look for to the future, try and plan for the future. We were, a, so this company came to us in February. We've had several meetings with them. We've gone, we've spent a, a day in one meeting at, at the HOA. We've, council has gone on tours of the company and <clears throat> they asked us not to tell, to keep it as an NDA non-disclosure, meaning not to let anyone know until the deal is done, until we're done. So the company came to us back in February and one of the first things he said is why he chose Clayley Tenet to sell it to, uh, to be in contact with is because we are the rights holders of this territory and he believed that we were the right ones to take over this company, to do this company because it's in our territory. And he said he's been watching Clayton today for a while and he liked our honesty. He goes, you guys, we're trustworthy, we're honest, we know what's right, we're moving forward in the right direction. That's why they came to Clayton today. They could have sold this company back in February. But so council was looking towards the future. Uh, we've always wanted to own more and more buildings, more and more businesses, and more land within the Clayley Tenet territory. This and businesses, mm -hmm. as other nations, they get dividends, and well, how they get the dividends is because they invest in in businesses. Clayley needs to start investing in businesses to look forward to the future, so we can give our members dividends. Um, it, this business, for example, if we put, say, $6 million down and the other number was out, say, say, say the, building, the business was $60 million, you put 10% down, $6 million, $6 million, and the buildings on that land with the leases would pay that loan, not clearly today. And... <clears throat> This is what we were doing. We were trying to plan for the future, but as of today, because not all councils involved, we still have one council member that's, that's out. Uh, we will not be purchasing this, this building, this company or the property. Uh, we had a Tano band member that was for it but with all the chaos that's been going on, they've, re they've rescinded their vote. So now the Tano board has is does not have quorum to purchase this, and council does not have per quorum. Um, unfortunately, it was a missed opportunity. Uh, hopefully cross our fingers, more opportunities come forward. But if it's the company that asks the request, the NDA, non-disclosure agreement, that's pretty, this is why we couldn't come to the community. So in the future, uh, depending on the company, hopefully there won't be NDAs and we can come to the, come to the community members. But with an NDA, we have to keep it quiet until the deal is done. Non-disclosure is, it was the company requesting it, wanting it, because they didn't want to know any other, they didn't want any other companies to know that they were selling. And unfortunately it got leaked out and there has been four, Four other huge investors that have come to the company wanting to buy it. 
and that company said, no, I'm dealing with Clayley today. But now those other four companies have an option to, to purchase that BCR land and the company. So again, we apologize for all the, the confusion, the, my late reply. Um, I've been trying to get the company to hold off on selling, but we lost out. They couldn't hold out. Um, the, this group was willing to stay on to help Clightly Tanae to learn the business to make sure we're running it properly, how to run it. And because it was their name attached to it and they're very proud people and they're proud of their names, they wanted to keep their name good. So, so this is it. So we will be having a community meeting soon and hope to see you all there. If you have a question, instantly phone us, phone me, email me, and we'll give you the correct information that's that we have that we were given from the company. It was scary. The the numbers that were brought out there were scary. I agree. I, I'm not on Facebook. I heard the numbers too and my heart went <gasps> like it's that's what it's misinformation. And and honestly our doors are always open. We have an open door policy. Any information you need or want or want to talk about, we're here. We're here whenever. Whenever we, you need to talk. And I know when the video went out, I was on my phone till 11 o'clock at night talking to members, letting them know the actual numbers, the actual truth, what was going on and what an NDA was. Like it's, some people don't understand what an NDA is. So it's just, so I told them it's just the company asked not to say anything till the deal was done. So we couldn't share with members because our members are live so far apart. The only way we can do this is through video to, and it was a actually short timeline. So we could, we couldn't do the mail outs and for an NDA, we can't publish it. So again, we're here, opened our policy. Thank you, Centalia.